Welcome to the Art Lady at Home. And today we are in the kitchen and we're going to be making something with our leftover spiral hams. This is always something I always think of now. What can I do with that spiral ham leftover? And I have a lot of chunky meat left on my spiral ham and underneath underneath all that is actually a ham bone. And what I'm going to be doing with this spiral ham is I'm going to be making a 15 bean soup. So let's get started. What I did was I took the beans and I soaked them overnight. After about a couple hours um, of soaking yesterday, I did drain uh, the water and add fresh to the water as the beans were expanding and I kept on rinsing that the water out. So I'm just going to add that to my spiral ham in my pot and I'm also going to stick in this giant pot a I cut up two onions and I'm also using a variety of spices and I'm using five garlic chunks and for the spices I have some green chives I basically kind of rated my spice drawer and rated the refrigerator and I've got some oregano and tomato basil blend uh, I have some rosemary here and then I've got some ground rosemary and I have some Mary, uh, herbs de Provence which I love I use that in almost everything and I'm also going to put in some salsa just to give it a little tomato base. And I'll probably use the rest of that salsa. Whatever's in my fridge, you kind of grab. And I also found in the fridge some almost expired on their way out carrots. And they're still pretty good, but they're dried out. The bag was left open. And so I think this would make a perfect addition to our soup. It gives a little bit of a, a orange in that soup and gives some flavor and also some added vegetables. So that's what I'm gonna stick in the soup so far. And after I put in all the vegetables, I'm gonna add some water, fill it up with some water. And then I'm gonna let it simmer for a few hours tonight. And then when I get home from work, we'll simmer it and actually have it for dinner and I'll serve it with cornbread. Uh, but this is one solution to what you can do with that leftover spiral ham. Okay, the soup is on. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. It is a bit full. I should probably not have it so full, but by the time I added everything and I let the water, I, I put the water just, just to the surface of the meat bone. But then I filled up everything else and it almost filled this whole pot. I wanted to tell you about the herbs I put in. Um, I put in about three tables or yeah, about three tablespoons of the green chives. They're dried green chives. For the ground rosemary, I put in a tea, a t well, about a teaspoon of ground rosemary because rosemary, when it's ground, is pretty strong. And then I put in three tablespoons of the dried oregano in basil and tomato blend um, so if you're doing you know dried basil you can do a teaspoon of that if you don't have the blend and then a teaspoon or a tablespoon rather and then a tablespoon of the dried oregano now you can season this to taste and then I put in a, a tablespoon of the herbs de Provence uh, which is one of my favorite herbs I put that in everything now you can do your own herbs or do something similar to this my philosophy is I don't want to use the package that came with that 15 bean soup because um, I don't want the extra preservatives and chemicals in my soup and salt. I think that ham is going to have enough salt for me and what I usually do is I don't cook with any salt and I let people salt their own soup if they want to. But most of the time if you load it up with these natural herbs and to me the more you can put in the better because you're not going to be able to overpower it with some of these flavors. Um, the only one you could really overdo is that uh, 
rosemary that's ground because it's strong. But all the other ones, I, I pile them on just to get the flavor in. And the more, the merrier for me. And especially with the garlic, the more garlic you put in. You can even put more cloves than I did. I had five only left in the fridge. This is called my potluck soup. It's whatever I find in my fridge, I dump in or my cupboard. If you don't have the salsa, you can substitute it for um, canned or diced um, tomatoes. Um, I just threw in the salsa because that's all I had in the fridge. And it's trying to use up that ham and coming up with something natural and hearty. And of course, soup is one of the best foods for you. So I'll let this simmer for a couple hours and then we'll, uh, I'm going to heat it to high first to boil. Once it reaches a slight boil, then I'll turn it back down and simmer it for a few hours tonight. And then we'll do a few hours to cook tomorrow and serve it with cornbread for dinner. And I'll let you see uh, the finished product uh, as soon as it's done. Welcome back. It's been two and a half hours and soup is done. I just took out the ham bone and when I checked it, it's fallen apart. The joints are really separating. Actually, some of the pieces fell off here uh, and the bones were starting to fall off. And that's when I know that's the, the time when the, the soup is done, when the bones start falling apart. So the and the rest of it when I tested it it tasted fine. The vegetables are soft, the beans are soft. You don't want them to be too mushy. And it's good to go for tomorrow's dinner. I'm just going to let it cool and transfer it into a different pot for the refrigerator. This is a cast iron pot and these pots take a long time to cool. So helping when I transfer it into smaller bowls for storage, it it helps speed that time down. Um but this is good to go. I thought maybe I'd need to simmer it for a couple hours more after school uh, tomorrow. But I think it just needs to be reheated and cook up that cornbread and we're good to go. Uh, what, be, what would be a nice addition to this after I've tasted it um, is even putting in cabbage. I bet cabbage would be really great in this soup. Or even cooking uh, a turnip with it after you've boiled it or cooked it for uh, an, uh, maybe two, an hour and a half maybe. For the last hour, throw in a turnip, cut up small turnip in here, or a little bit of cabbage would be great addition to this. I like to do these one dish or one bowl dinners so that I'm not cleaning up all these dishes and pots and pans and then all my vegetables are all together. So next time I do this, I would definitely add maybe a little bit of cabbage in the last hour. But this is actually good and hearty the way it is. And it's basically what I had in my fridge left over to use up that leftover ham bone. The flavor is great. The ham bone seasoned it enough. I did not need to add any more salt. And all of the herbs that we put in, are it just packs it with flavor. And it actually has a little bit of a, a kick to it. And I can definitely taste those garlic cloves, even though there was only five of them. Uh, this is a pretty big pot of soup, so I was surprised that I, I could taste some of that garlic kick. But with my spices and the herbs I added in here, it's a, just a packed, powerful, really wonderful, wonderful tasting soup. And what I, what I like about it is it doesn't taste like a bean or pea soup. It's more of a stew, like a ham uh, meat stew, uh, especially with the carrots added to it. So uh, it, it gets away from that too much bean or pea taste soup that I can remember growing up as a kid not liking. So uh, it works and it's good and we'll give it the 12 year old kid test tomorrow with cornbread and hope everyone's happy.